Murphy's Law, Little Italy. Jeez. Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. Well, guess we're going to get a gun. Well, I guess we have technically two guns. And, and we already do have some lockpicks. Ah. Uh. This hmm. sounds like some angry pooches out there. Angry pooches out there, indeed, my boy. All right. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna. Be, I keep the second piece again. Because, I mean, then again, who knows? I probably do. Because if I do, that'd be great. I don't mind having multiple guns on me at one time. Break the realism, as it were. <laughs> Hey, look who's here. <laughs> Where the hell you been? Laying around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. When Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I <laughs> heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about we'll yesterday? in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! What? You think I'm running some kind of fucking charity here? Do it. Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store and he's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus, uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why's everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah, with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, bulb. don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. Okay. We wait until dark. Six hours later. Drive to the mall with Joe and rob the jewelry store. Alright. Get in, Joe. We're going robbing. Get in, loser. We're going robbing. Hey, so how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, hey, he's a piece of work, ain't he? he? Give you a job? Yeah. I work some guys over. But it was small time crap. He shakes down these hard up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. We're whining and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats. I mean, if you say so, I'm just saying. I did get my hands pretty dirty by beating the fuck out of him. I beat him so hard that they probably won't remember the mother's name. Or the father's. Or what the father's father. Version to red lights? Yes. Yes, I despise red lights. Fuck the law. I am above the law. I am above the law in this game. Okay, dude. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what that dude was behind in that car, but, you know, I'm assuming it wasn't good. But it was pretty funny. Ha <laughs> ha, pretty funny. Funny guy, ho <laughs> ho. I have cavemen now, for some reason. What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? Take it easy, I'm in a rush. Listen, it could be the brickyard, you don't know. Yeah, that's right, I'm from Indiana, what of it? Square up, then a Hoosier. Alright. Uh, 
O'Neal? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? Yeah, you're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, Fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you better yeah, hand yeah, over everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neal's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. Reported at the West Side Mall. Nah, hell. Burglary this in is progress. car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss my the ass. Fuck out of here. Run! Gotta get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Brian, what about the cops? Come on! Yeah. Oh fuck. Shit, cops. Thank you. Watch my ears while I open this door. Keep those assholes off my back. Oh cool, I did get see, but fuck. Uh where was camera? Change your I'm trying. I would, but I'm kind of in a heist. Shit, cops. Well, let's not stand around here. Touch my ass while I open this door. Keep those assholes off my back. <laughs> Almost got it. Pull them off just a little longer. Uh, yeah, sure. Open up! Okay, got it. We're out of here. Oh, thank Vito, God. Freeze! Police! There's no way out! Go back! We gotta find another way out! I'm following you! God damn it, O'Neal! Fuck! I ain't going back to Slam. You can't make me! I ain't going back to the war! Fuck! Yeah. Okay. Shit, another dead end. Did. Oh fuck. Sorry. Fuck. We gotta go this way. It's our only shot. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Vito, move your ass. Wait, fucking crazy. It's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. We have no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Okay, what the hell do I do? Uh, were there supposed to be more cows I was defending myself from? Because there only seemed to be like one. Oh shit! <laughs> they were they were stuck behind the door. Jesus Christ! They were stuck behind the door. That's why that's why they weren't coming. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Okay, well I'll be back. I'll be back uh, when we get back to where we were. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, it's R1. Okay. There they come. I'm assuming they're stuck behind the wall. <laughs> Wait, he's just standing. <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> that, that was horrible. I'm sorry, but seriously, why though? <laughs> you just stood there. Get your ass over here. You're waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there. Shoot. Shit. Jesus, be careful. Almost lost it. Yeah. yeah. I think I just shit myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. This way. This should take us to the street. All right. Don't let them fight alone. We'll support our troops fighting in Europe. Shit, cops. Yeah. Police, police. There's no way out. God damn it. Oh, God, double damn it. This should take us to the street. Okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna switch to this one because it has more ammo. Shit, cops! Freeze, police! There's no way out. Later. I don't know what I'm doing. Run! Hey, fuck. Henry's never gonna believe this. You stupid bastards. Let's go. Yeah. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Fuck off, copper. I didn't do nothing. Look at the Irish my ears. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. Might want to change clothes. Vagals in a clothing store. Ooh, that's some money. Yeah. Don't see me, 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 don't see me. Don't see me. Well, you know, we'll just go over here. That's fine. We're just gonna run. And hope to God a cop doesn't spawn. Eh. Looks like there's one up here. 
cop looking the other way. Now, if he makes a turn, I can just walk into the bar, walk into this clothing store, get some clothes, and not have to worry. Yeet. Okay. How am I gonna do this? Okay, I gotta find some claws. There. Good. Ah, oh, shit! Ow! Yeah, no, I know I'm wanted by the police! Ow! I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Yeah. Whew. Lose me, lose me. Oh, come on! That's bullshit! Really? And he goes back to standing. Fuck's sake. Okay, we'll try going this way. Don't be a dead alley. Dead sit. Well, what the hell am I gonna do? Oh, come on. How many cups does one city need? Yes, I am aware I'm wanted. Jesus Christ. How are they catching up with me? That seems a bit bullshit. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? <sighs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, it's bad enough. Leave me alone! How do you even know I'm part of this? Oh, good fucking night, Irene! Leave me alone! Here we go. Ow! Yeah. Give me... Quick, give me... The finest clothing available, if you can afford it. Ah, uh, let's see. Need something fast, need something fast. Ah. Uh. Anything else I can do for you? Ooh! I dig the leather. It's nice. Thank you. Ma'am, you give me a set. You definitely made a satisfied customer out of me. Thank you. Have a good day. Whew. That was close. A little painful, but. At least you some good. Uh, if only I had my car. Or cancel, cancel, cancel. I mean, it's not my usual car, but I'll take it. Man, that was close. Not the brake, but it worked. Uh, man, what a night. A thousand dollars that I had to spend some to save my ass, but hey. Gotta crack open a few eggs to make an omelet. Ah, thank God we're home. Thank the beautiful, merciful Lord that I pulled up into his house and took it for my own.
And I have stolen this car. <sighs> now we'll just head up. We get a sandwich and something to drink. And go to bed. Ah. <sighs> Sandwich. Delicious. Let's see. Good night. A soda. Delicious. Now then. Bib. Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you were passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. That was something. All right. Drive the phrase to meet Joe for lunch. Yeah, sure. Let's see. That's right, I have different colors now. Ah. Perfect. Now, see, now I feel like a new man. Fuck oh, you, stupid broad! But Get the I... hell back here! If you can't drive, wow, you okay. You okay, well. Isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. Well, now we gotta do, go do this. You smacked up my car! I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Buddy, you really wanna start shit? Hey, pal. Knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. <laughs> Teacher said he had a lesson. Bam! Bam! I wonder. Hey, buddy. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really got to get going. Mm, you'll like it, I promise. I got to get going now. I'll see you around. Jesus. Wow. And that gave me, and that gave me $50. In the car. I'll take it. Eh, I mean, I already have... Do I have this car? I think I do. Just not in this color. Oh well. Anyway, your car is now my car, my good sir. By the laws of ass kickery. Good day. I don't want to fall. Hey, fellas. Hey, hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, Thank this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh, I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure. Uh, what next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just because someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. 
<laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one. And there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand apiece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I, I, uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. Yeah, that's, that's a more fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, no they shit. Fuck up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. Okay. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. We could get you anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just okay. Just tell you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. <sighs> well. Now I gotta go take someone out. I should have worn my suit today. Uh, anyways, let's go, let's go pick up a gun then. Picking up Hitler's butt, sir. Well, I guess I can't say Hitler, can I? I mean, he's a historical fi figure, but still, I, I, you get what I mean. Hitler's butt, sir. That, that's what the MG42 was called. Or like, well, one of the names. Wait, was there other names for it? I might be thinking of another, another type of MG, MG model, but still. MG42 was considered Hitler's butt saw. Maybe we should buy us. Eh, what the hell? We're here. Excuse me. Good morning, sir. Morning. If you like what you see, let me know. Got one. Ring coat, ring coat, ring coat. Casual suit and hat. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go. Anything else one. I can do for you? Ah, perfect. Now I feel ready to kill someone. Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy your. Dress to kill, baby. Ah, let's go get some weapons. Wee, bitch! All right, we're all the way up in Kingston. So now, just go to where we need to go to get some guns. We're gonna get some guns. Beat some fuckers' heads here. Shoot up the place. Make them can realize that they made a mistake crossing us. And if they're still alive, well, cement shoes are ideal. Let's 
Perfect. Yeah, what's up? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Okay, come in. I got a message from IC Wiener, sir. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we called him. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? Oh, right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? And that was kinda hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy, we hit Utah Beach. And yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... I was crawling over the fence on the way back. I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Here you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Nice. Oh, the NG-42 in the van outside. Yeah. Well, I mean, I brought a car, but I guess a van will work. But I might want to get some things from Harry, if I can, before I go. Also, I'm amazed a jet, an MG42 LMG fit into this tiny crate. Magic. Alright, in you go. Before I do. It's me, Vito. Alright, come in. Nice. Now let's see what we can get. Hey, don't forget the ammo too, huh? Magnum, shotgun. Oh, are these the only ones we have right now? Uh... Yeah, let's get a magnum. Weapon. Nice. And you know what? I'll tell you, the It's really the best shotgun available. I don't even carry any others. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Alright. See, is that the only weapons I can get right now? I'm assuming. Okay. Thanks, Harry. Oh, I'm I'm being one. I mean, it's good to have a little bit of a magnum and a shotgun. Thank great, I'm sure he'll, he'll probably give me some weapons at the mission, but I like to be, be extra precautious. Plus, I haven't got to use a bag. You know, it's kind of nice. Thanks for playing these games again. Well, I mean, not again. I didn't play them the first time, but it's actually get nice to get to play a, like, something that has a bit of interest in it. And hopefully I can get... I'll probably get these two edited out beforehand, and then... And that way they're out by Christmas, and then like have a few other games ready to go. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's kind of nice to play this game, and I'm glad I get to play it and share it with all you guys. 
Also, that guy was just running it. Uh, that's a nice little view of the city. View of the city. Ain't it pretty? Just gonna drive all the way up. Oh, well, I guess I can't because. Oh, never mind. I'll get back in a sec. Hold on. Hello. Welcome to McCluskey and Sons. I loaded these myself in the back. Nice. Alright. Thank you kindly. Come back to me. <clears throat> what the fuck, asshole? <laughs> he literally gunned it for me. Jesus. Guns it for me. Yeah, right when I'm trying to get out of the car, get back to my car. Asshole. Alright, well. I got enough ammo for everything, so. Luckily, I should be good. Also, I did not know gas was a thing in this game, so. That's pretty cool. Looks like the place. Apartment 233, Misery Lane, two hours later. Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Uh, we buy your ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a... Uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So, he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Doesn't want to answer the question. <laughs> oh shit, they're gonna talk about how I learned English. Fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on. They got All guns. right, showtime. They got guns up there in that window. That's him, Vito. Waste that slap for You got them all. Stop shooting that fucking thing. I'm going to get him over here. Ooh, here we go. Ah, shit. Back me up, Vito. All right, Vito, go, go, go. I'm back. Ooh. Hey, Are you just staying there waiting for me? Move it, Vito. We can't let that fat bastard get away. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. We're coming for you, Porky. I'm going in. To my I'll cover you moving. You're fucking dead. Over there. 
I would I was concentrating on shooting everything and just missed everyone. What? They teach you that in the army? Yeah, it's called shooting the shooting the one place that we can. Ow, bitch. Move it, Vito. You can't let that fat bastard get away. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war. No, I'm coming we'll cover for you, you porky. I'll be back. Well. Vito, come on, huh? We gotta move. Back me up, Vito. You don't want to get on your bad side. Oh, no! No! All right, Vito, here we go. Up your head out. I made myself. Thank you. Don't I have my lot in Oh. I can just pick up the ammo. That makes more sense. I was like, am I able to do it? Sure. I'll hit the button. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. We should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? I take offense to that, sir. Here they come! Whoa! Machine. Ha ha ha. Alright. 
Now I'm sitting pretty. You always wanted to do what? The bullets cut you off, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't kill me! Please! I got a wife! You should have thought about your wife I, I, before. I'm doing your wife! You should kill me! Oh my God, my God. <laughs> Don Clemente sends his regards. Oh! I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. Oh God. Oh yeah, it's bleeding all Son over. Son of a place. Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor. Okay, okay, you take it easy. We're gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in High Brook. Right, let's get you to the oh, car. Oh, my you're heavier than you look. The fat fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. Careful. This fucking hurts. No. Yeah, Please. Well, you can walk. I don't want to die. Then move. Hey, I don't need to get pissy. I'm the one bleeding to death here. Oh. Fuck. Well, uh, I guess we're taking oh, the stairs. Fuck. The place is coming apart. Uh. There he is. He's waiting for you. Got her. Fire spread. The fucking jinx. What do you mean, you lucky bastard? <laughs> oh, damn smoke. Get him in. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, shit. The popo coming. If I don't make it. Hey, hey, don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. Doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh, you shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah? What went out to the guy in the movie? He died. Nah. Wow, you are not helpful. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. What, your grandmother drifts? Deja vu. Uh, any other day, I would take take this and change the license plate, but right now. You know, come on, can't this thing go any faster? Going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. I hey, want. Vito, step on it. Henry sweating like a whore in church back here. You know what would make me drive faster? Who that is he? Yeah, you know what would make you drive even faster? Who is this guy? What guy? This guy, taking Henry. El Greco? He's a doctor. 
throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there. Wow! Be at El Greco's in a minute. Wow! I smell the souvlaki for me. <laughs> Get rid your tie flying. I didn't even know I could do that one. God damn. That was a jump. Almost there. Vito there. That house. Park right in front. <sighs> you are Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, he's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know, this could've waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me at my place. <sighs> Alright. Hey, Vito. Oh, Henry has a peg leg now. What? <laughs> nice. You have to catch to repay your, your father's debt. Go visit your sister. Well, at least now I can go to the body shop and get this work done. I'll go to the body shop, get this work done. Wait a minute. Yeah. Ow. We're just gonna leave that here. And, uh, borrow someone else. Go. Just gonna. I'm just gonna take this one. The cops can find that car for sure, but ain't nothing they're gonna find in there. In pursuit of a hit and run driver. It wasn't hit and run. Roger that. Dang it, ma! You ain't gonna believe it. I had the money to pay off de deadbeat dad's death. I mean debt. Let's see which one was it. None of these. I went up too high, Ma. Vito, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Whew. Go home. The question is, how much money do I...
Uh, I mean, I think that's enough to. There you go. I'll fix it up. And it's gone. Marvelous. Well, oh, I went the wrong way, that's why. Going to sleep takes you to the next chapter. I mean, I figured. Hank, in you go. Now, we go in. Now that we paid off my father's debt, I have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Cue the next moment I need to worry about. Ah, it's good to be home. And Joe is not here as usual. But now, I shall have a sandwich. Nom, 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 nom. Sandwich make me strong. And... and... I need an ice cold one after killing someone. Delicious. Ah, perfect. Well, bedtime. Comfy ass couch looker, you.